Good evening. I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. We begin with that developing story, story, the kayakers in the water. The boat arrived to the Roosevelt Road Bridge just in time to pluck the boaters out of the water. CBS 2's Suzanne LeMigno joins us now. And Suzanne, this isn't the first time this has happened. Rob, the tour boat co-owner told us this boating season alone, they've done at least 10 rescues in seasons past for the entire year, as many as 40. Meantime, a Chicago Fire Department spokesperson telling us that the man and woman on board did have their life jackets when the call came into that tour boat, from the tour boat to the fire department, that that pair needed some help. Now, a woman you see here sitting inside a U.S. Coast Guard boat after her rescue from the chilly waters of the Chicago River. The captain of the Evening Star tour boat operated by Shoreline Sightseeing had just pulled the woman, man, and their dog from the water. Their rented kayak capsized here on the Chicago River at Roosevelt Road. Shoreline Sightseeing co-owner Chip Colopy talked to us. Our team's trained for man overboard drills. We have uh, pulled quite a few people out of the water this year. Unfortunately, the kayak rentals have uh, grown and been more popular. And as a result, they're renting boats to people who are untrained and unqualified to be on the water. Now, a staff member from REI Kayak Rental says this is the first time a rescue has taken place for their company. They've been operating for less than a year. The staffer also says the rented kayak ran into a sidewall. That's when the renter used a paddle to back up. And basically, that's when the, ca the kayak capsized. The Chicago Fire Department also responded to the scene as the tour boat crew pulled the life preservers from the water. Now, the REI kayak rental staff member that spoke with us also said that every single kayak renter has to sign a liability waiver, and they do receive basic paddle instructions when they go out on their own. We're live along the Chicago River. Suzanne LeMigno, CBS2 News. Erica. Okay, Suzanne, thank you.